Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I know that sometimes it can take a little bit of time to get on um, this app and find the video, so I will just take a little bit of time and introduce myself, and um, and then I'll get started with the purpose of this little video. My name is Anne, and I am one of the Sunlight Mentors here on the app. I've been using Sunlight since 2007. Uh, my oldest started his sophomore year in college yesterday, and my second child, my youngest, uh, started her senior year yesterday in high school. Uh, so I've just got one year left to homeschool, but it has really been a joy. Uh, so we are going to talk about the Timeline book. It's one of the required resources that is um, used in a Sunlight program. Uh, so this is what mine looks like. So I will show this to y'all. Yours will not look the same if you are a new Sunlight customer because they have changed the cover a couple of times, but the inside is still the same. So my show and tell uh, will still apply. Uh, so where is this timeline book used? Uh, if you have levels, uh, any preschool levels, you will not be using the uh, timeline book because it does start with level K and up. Oh, hello, we've got a couple of people that have uh, joined. Um, all I had done so far was just shown my cover, which is probably different than yours because the cover has changed a couple of times. Um, so welcome those of you that are joining and please do pop any questions uh, in the chat if you have them and I'd be happy to answer as we go along. So to start my show and tell, uh, I just wanted to let everybody know which levels of sunlight would use this timeline book and it would be levels K and up and stickers are included with levels K through J. Once you hit high school, you can still use the timeline book, but you won't get stickers anymore. Uh, so how do you know when you're going along to the curriculum, when you need uh, to put something in the timeline book? So um, let me see if I can show you all. There's two places on here. Uh, whoop, let's see, one ah, right there with the little people, the little icon with the people. And there's another one down here. So there's a reader and a history book that both include timeline figures for that particular day. So when you see that little icon in your instructor's guide, you know to look for a figure and then you can place it in your timeline book. So when do you do that during your school day? There's some different ideas. You could actually place the sticker before you do the reading and you, that way the child has seen, oh, here's a person, here's an event, and we're putting this in the book. And then when you read the book, um, the little light bulb will come on. Oh, oh, that's who we were talking about. That's the thing we were talking about that we put in the book. Uh, you could also put the sticker on after you do the reading and, and use it as a little review. You know, who was this person? What did we read about? Or what was this event? Uh, what happened with it? Uh, you could actually, and this is really convenient if you tend to forget to, to put your stickers in as you go, you can put them, uh, save them up till the end of the week and put them in as a review at the end of the week. Uh, so a little peek on the inside. One of the things I really found uh, that was really good about this timeline book is that right smack in the middle, you see that you've got two different color pages and the two different color pages are because right smack in the middle, that is where we split the BC and the AD. And so the kids at a very early age get, uh, get a really good understanding about how the dates of the BC years get bigger. The, the numbers get larger as you go back in time. And then of course for AD, the numbers get larger as you go forward in time. So that is something they really get a good grasp on because of the book. And because it is in a spiral bound book, you don't have something, you know, trailing all across your, um, you know, your walls. And, oh, Jonna, Jonna's got a really good question. Uh, do you put your, when you put your stickers, do you put them at the beginning of the date range or at the end of the date range? And that is your choice. It is good to be consistent about it. So if you start putting stickers at the beginning of the date range, you know, just do that with all of them or at the end, or you could choose to put them in the middle uh, something else that will happen if you do start sunlight with a younger level, uh, you will end up with duplicates. So you will end up with, you know, the same person a few years later because you're reading about that person again. And if you had put that sticker before where they, the year they were born, well, you could put the second sticker, 
uh, the year that they died. And then you could have that, you could see that whole span of their life. Um, Cause you will end up with duplicates. Um, let's see. There was a question on the app from Crystal about fitting them all in, all the stickers. Uh, and somebody else had hopped on and said they were doing the American history and there are so many stickers. So what you do with that, and I learned this back on the Sunlight Forums back in the day. Uh, let me turn to a really super busy page on here. Um, here we have a super busy page. Let me fold this in half so it doesn't take up too much space. Uh, when you have a really, really busy page, you can use the backing of the stickers to your advantage. And the backing is sticky all the way through if you peel it all the way off. If you don't peel it all the way off, you can do this. You can peel just the top off and stick the top. And then you have a flap where you can see a person um, that was born at that same time as you know, this thing was happening. So when it gets full, that's what you can do and it allows you to keep everything where it needs to be uh, and you can still see everything. So the other question that went along with that is how can you, um, well, how, how do you deal if there's little ones that wanna help? Um, and of course, um, one tip, um, just to make sure they don't stick the sticker in a place that's totally not appropriate, you know, put a little dot and they can place it there. If you have a little one that really wants to be included but is nowhere you know near understanding what is happening with this book you could just get a um a blank uh, notebook and some fun stickers and when you're doing the timeline book with your older student you can pull out the fun stickers with the blank notebook and they can kind of make their their own little thing that's a way that you could uh get your little ones anticipating the excitement of the timeline book um Oh, another idea that came, uh, this one came from Barb D on the app, and I love this idea. Uh, putting the United States events above the line, or United States events and people above the line, and then the world below the line. And that is a really neat way to make connections as you go. Um, another person, I think this was one of the mentors, had in her timeline book put people above the line and events below the line. So those are some things to think about as you get started to help you organize everything. Um, I kind of wish I had known those tips when I was doing it. So ours is just a total hodgepodge of people and places, but they are all at least, you know, where they need to be in the timeline book. Another question that people ask is how many timeline books do I need? And that also is up to you. Some people do one per family. Um, I recommend doing one per group of students that are doing the same history bible literature level because you are going to you know like let's say your your older students put the stickers and then your younger ones come along well those stickers have already been put in so it could be a little disappointing so if you do have different groups of students or single students that are at different levels uh, i think it's good to have one timeline book for each of those um, age groups that you're working with and another thing to keep in mind is that your timeline book is customizable. You know, we're not going to have many stickers when we get later on. Um, so here we just have a few stickers over here from 1990 to 2000. So my daughter added in Toby and Max, uh, the cats that we happened to have when she was born. And then going back a little bit when we were studying world war ii it was really neat for them to put their grandparents names right there and that's a really neat connection to make uh when people in your family were born and what was happening at the time and they took it further and where there's no stickers at all they decided to put their friends names and um, other cats that we ended up getting and then when 2020 came we ended up with the coronavirus so you can customize your book and um put um just anything that their heart desires in the uh in the timeline book uh let me take a quick peek at my notes um i think i've covered everything that i had so if you have any questions you can um speak now or forever hold your peace 
on the live part of this, but we will put this uh, little video in the app and you can post uh, questions. I would love for y'all to post pictures of what you're doing with your timeline books. And it's just a fun way to share what everyone's doing. So thank y'all for joining me. Y'all have a good afternoon.